What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. We are going to be calling this the soap episode. Um, a lot of you guys have seen that I've done other sort of reviews of things other than fragrances that a man should really be using in his life, like shaving brushes, shaving soaps, shaving creams, razors, and we're going to do eventually a whole line of men's stuff. So moisturizers, hair styling products, hair washing products, um, everything, deodorants, everything that a guy uses. And most of us fragrance heads are trying to get that perfect fragrance just right, just right. By, by doing that, what we're doing is we're ignoring one of the most basic steps you can do to sort of layer a, um, a fragrance and have it last longer and just have a you smelling great all around even when the fragrance is off you you're not wearing one and that's by using just the right soap in the shower um, and so we're gonna look at some some soap soaps in different price categories um, and talk about which ones are the best for you to spend your money on now if you don't want to spend a ton of money on soaps a really terrific option are these bean flower soaps from China um, this is a rose one this is a sandalwood one, and this is a jasmine one. And these guys are great. They cost about a buck a piece, I think. They're available at um at a, a fairway market, and for a couple dollars, they smell really great and they lather great. So Bean Flower is a great company. They make great soaps. Check those guys out. In the middle tier, of course, we have a, a two really nice options. One is from um, Dr. Bronner's which uh, you see I have a bar of that here. Another one is an open bar of Mitchell's Wool Fat um, soap. The Bronner one is pretty much famous. Uh, these soaps were made by a gentleman named Emanuel Il Bronner who came from a line of German soap makers. Um, he left Germany in 1929 to come to the United States and later begged his parents to do the same for fear of the coming Holocaust, but his parents refused. And he received a letter from them saying that uh, he was right and that was the last communication that he ever had with his parents. So very sad story. Um, and because of that, Emmanuel has promoted a belief in goodness and the unity of humanity. There's a documentary about him on Netflix called Dr. Bronner's Magic Soapbox that I believe is streaming. And I, I got to check that out sooner than later. Now, these come in very informative wrappers. If you get a... Um, a big bottle of the sh of the liquid soap. Uh, it has all these cool ways, 15 or different, 16 different ways you can use this soap for whether that being uh, washing laundry, cleaning furniture, using it as shampoo. You can even brush your teeth, they say, with the liquid soap. Now, I only use it to wash myself and I love it. I also do have a tiny bottle of their almond liquid soap, but uh, this one here is a eucalyptus one. I've had it before many times. Lather's great, lasts a long time, costs about four bucks literally, and these are just awesome. And with the price factored in, um, if I could only use one soap for the rest of my life, I think it would probably be these. Um, sometimes I even wash my hair with the bars or the, the liquid soap. So these are just incredible. I'll open it for you so you can just take a look. This one was five bucks. You know, definitely affordable uh, from Ricky's and NYC. I'm sure some of you guys know Ricky's. It's sort of like a beauty supply store and really their main focus is on hair care and they actually also carry adult sex toys. So it's a little bizarre, some of their choices and stuff, but uh, Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap. This is eucalyptus. Smelling it right now. Awesome. Awesome eucalyptus. Um, smell and you can definitely use this if you're planning to use a eucalyptus fragrance later in the day like Body by Kuros by Yves Saint Laurent. Um, most shavers are familiar with Mitchell's Wolf Fat shaving soap. They make a very high esteem brand of shaving soap and basically Mitchell's Wolf Fat came to be because a chemist in Bradford, England named Fred Mitchell realized that people who sheathed sheep hair had exceptionally soft skin and through trial and error he traced that to the fat in the wool they were constantly handling and made an entire line of soaps with lanolin. And those sort of soaps are often duplicated but rarely copied. I get these from Pasteur Pharmacy and they run anywhere from about $3 to $15 depending on how big they are. Their shaving soap is also top of the line as well. It comes in a beautiful ceramic bowl and um, it's just an awesome shaving soap and they make a great um, bath soaps as well. Now, when we talk about some more expensive options, uh, let me say that I realize a lot of high-end perfumers like Creed and some others make soap, and I don't really love theirs. I think that uh, they're overpriced and weakly perfumed. Another good option is uh, soaps by Klaus Porto. Um, 
and Musco and Klaus Porto's Musco Real brand. They have a wide variety of soaps. Um, the actual Klaus Porto soaps come in very attractive Art Deco wrappers. There's Musco's Orange Amber scent, and uh, that's the one I like the best. I love the way they lather and cleanse. The only thing is, I find this site, the scent a little too light and gentle for a soap that's going to cost more than ten dollars. Now, Santa Maria Novella is a Lafco company that was originally one of the world's oldest pharmacies dating back to 1221 in Florence, Italy, where it was operated by Dominican friars. And they made remedies and potions in their monastery, and uh, they were sponsored by the Grand Duke of Tuscany and opened up to the public in 1612. They were making fragrances for the queen over 500 years ago and have quite a rich and varied product line. Um, including beautiful niche scents that lots of people like. Some people think they're too powdery. I tend to fall in the middle, but we'll be doing a review of a really awesome scent of theirs in the near future. They also make great shaving creams, herbal mint water, post-shave creams, but what I think they really do best is make handmade bars of soap. Now, I was down in Soho earlier uh, today and uh, stopped by Bo Key for lunch, which is one of my favorite places for lunch down in Soho. It's actually um, sort of a Malaysian Chinese restaurant and I always get the um, chicken curry with rice. It's a great meal. I was also just stopped over at Min, sniffed some stuff. The Sephora down in Soho was over there. Well, I really love the Soho area just to walk into stores and, uh, you know, sniff stuff, pick up some clothes, have lunch. It's just a great place. And so what I picked up from there, from Santa Maria Novella, and when I see these bags that you get their products and look like old style pharmacy bags. And obviously that's what Santa Maria Novella was. It was an old school pharmacy. So I'm going to take this guy out. Look how beautifully packaged this is. Um, this is Santa Maria Novella. This is their amber soap, okay? And um, the way that they... They um, they make these soaps. Now, here's the thing. They're not cheap, okay? A single bar is going to cost you $17. A set of three will run you, run you 50 without tax and shipping. But each soap is made with whole milk on 19th century equipment, often triple milk to make them extremely um, smooth and remove any impurities. Then they're aged 60 days in ventilated cabinets before they're hand-wrapped. Whole milk is a tremendous moisturizer, and I'll be honest with you, no other soap leaves my skin anywhere near as soft and hydrated. You can really feel the difference in these guys. And the store in Soho is beautiful. It sort of looks like an old church. They sell other brands as well. They also sell um, awesome room sprays, candles. It's just, <clears throat> if you're in New York and you're doing a fragrance or shave tour, you really got to stop by Santa Maria Novella. You're doing yourself a huge disservice if you don't. They have a tremendous amount of fragrances. You can try anything they want. They're very friendly. Um, and so this is the uh, Amber Soap. And uh, this is the second bar of the Amber Soap that I've owned. I've also owned their Vetiver Soap, their Russian Cologne Soap, and their Patchouli Soap. Um, but as you can see, it does say on the back, Amber. You've got the beautiful, beautiful hand-wrapped soap, Di Santa Maria Novella, Sapon Promo. And uh, I'll open it up so you guys can just quickly see what this guy looks like. It's 130 grams. It's going to last you a long-ass time, guys. Um, that's why the $17 doesn't feel like too bad of a hit because you're literally um, going to use this for a long time. Now, see, the soap is really... This is high-end stuff, right? It says made in Italy on it. It's got a little seal that this is an official... Uh, product by Santa Maria Novella. Let me try to peel that off. I don't want to rip it so you guys can see the paper that comes on the soaps. Sorry that that video cut off, guys. I was out of storage on my phone, but see how cool this is? Look what each bar comes with. Um, I mean, this is just awesome, right? I mean, I ripped this a little like a clownish clown, but it tells you uh, the what sense the... Um, soaps are available in it has the santa maria novella uh you know name at the top officiana profumo pharmaceutica and uh and that just comes wrapped around the soap and then on the back um you've got more information about the soap and uh in italian so that is what each bar of soap comes wrapped in beautiful package beautiful piece of material that comes with each bar of soap and then the actual soap absolutely Gorgeous. You could tell it's hand wrapped. It's got little bit, you know, little flakes on it. Um, here it clearly says the same thing uh, about uh, Santa Maria Novella. Uh, it's got the uh, Ambra on the back to let you know that it is the Amber scent. I'm just going to smell it real quick. 
Oh man, guys, you got to get your hands on a bar of Santa Maria Novella. So you're straight up bugging if you don't. If you can't get down to Soho or they don't have a Santa Maria Novella where you are, okay, what you need to do is order it from the internet. You might want to just to shave, save money on the shipping and handling, you might just want to cop the batch of three um, for $51 and uh, just hold on to them. I pr because of the way these are made, these are going to last you forever. That's not an exaggeration. Months and months and months, way more than any of the other soaps that I've showed you, and the smell is going to be retained for a long time. And if you like amber scents, wash yourself with this. Come out, throw your amber scent on, and you doubled up on the on your on your fragrance layers. So check this out. So there, the, the the brands I highly recommend. If you don't have a lot of money to spend, check out the Bee and Flowers. If you have a little bit more, you could spend five to ten dollars on a bar of soap or twelve. Check out um, either the Musco Real or the um, Wool Fat Mitchell's Wool Fat or the Dr. Bronner's. And if you really want to splurge on yourself and give yourself a nice little luxury, because you deserve it, especially my dudes out there that are hardworking. Pick up a bar out of this. This is a 9 out of 10 to me. The only reason it's a 10 out of 10 is because some of these other soaps that I've just showed you are pretty fantastic as well. And, uh, you know, if I had the choice of getting four bars of Dr. Bronner's or one of these and I could only spend my money that way, I'd probably get the four of Dr. Bronner's. But um, I would like to exclusively use these soaps, man. I really, really would. And their shaving products. Their shaving cream is not cheap, but it is awesome. Their herbal toner is awesome. A lot of their fragrances are awesome, especially Nostalgia, which smells like a vintage race car. Blows very black out of the water. Big ups to Frankinator for putting me up on that. Um, oh, and then one more thing I wanted to show you guys quickly. While I was down in Soho, I had to stop by Dean and DeLuca, my all-time favorite for the crack chocolate chip peanut butter cupcake from Dina DeLuca. I mean, I had to. <laughs> what can I say? I had to, you know? Um, so, that's it, guys. That is our episode for this week, the soap episode. We will definitely be back later in the week, hopefully with some more videos. I hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing. I hope I gave you something to think about with the soaps you pick, and we'll We'll, we'll, you'll see me again soon. You'll see another video from Maximilian soon. Again, I am Maximilian, and I must know. Thank you for watching.